Good day dear viewers, how are you doing today? In this video I'll be displaying several Commonwealth circulation strike coins featuring late Queen Elizabeth II on obverse. So before we dive in please smash like and subscribe buttons down below this video. And ring the bell to activate notifications. Let's get started with the circulated 1969 10 new pence. As you can see it is in average circulated condition with abundance of contact marks and nicks. The 1969 Elizabeth II 10 pence coin from United Kingdom was issued during the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. This coin has a composition of copper and nickel consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel, giving it a silver-like appearance and resistant to corrosion, which helped it withstand wear over time. The reverse of the coin features the second official portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse depicts a crown line, a traditional symbol of United Kingdom. Below the image of the line is the value 10, representing 10 new pence. In terms of market value, the 1969 10 pence coin is not considered rare, as millions were minted for circulation. However, its value largely depends on its condition. Circulated examples typically sell for around $1 to $3 on platforms like eBay. Uncirculated or proof examples can fetch higher prices, sometimes ranging from $5 to $15 or more, depending on, their, on the coin's condition and appeal to collectors. Coins in mint state or with little wear tend to attract more attention from collectors due to their superior condition. Here we have red and brown 1992 one penny from UK. Coin is in about uncirculated condition, AU55 or 58 most likely. Surfaces display minimal contact marks. On the oversight coin there is a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II designed by Iron Rank Broadly. This design features a right facing profile of Queen surrounded by inscription Elizabeth II. On the reverse, within a beaded circle, a crowned portcullis with chains. This coin was struck in massive mintage. Over 254 million one pennies were struck that year, making it a common coin. As a for it is worth just a little more than its face value. By the way, material is copper plated still as compared to previous one penny or two pence coins. By the way, material is copper-plated still. Moving on to the 1996 Elizabeth II 10 pence coin from United Kingdom, which is also part of decimal coinage series and was minted in copper nickel, which consists of 75% copper and 25% nickel. This gives the coin its distinctive silver-like appearance and resistance to tarnishing. The so reverse of the coin features the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. On the reverse of the coin designed by Christopher Ironside is the image of crowned lion, a long-standing symbol of United Kingdom. This design was used on 10p coins until 2008 when it was replaced by a segment of royal shield. The 1996 10 pence is not considered rare as it was minted in large quantities as well. In terms of value, circulated examples usually sell for 10 pence to 50 pence, depending on condition. Uncirculated or mint condition coins can sell for higher, typically ranging between 1 pound to 3 pounds, 120 to 4 in dollars, especially if they have been well preserved. The 1964 Elizabeth II three pence coin comes with a distinctive design and history. This coin was minted in nickel brass composed of 75% copper and 25% zinc and 1% nickel, giving it a golden hue that can tarnish over time, particularly on circulated examples like this one. Tarnishing occurs when the metal reacts with air and moisture, leaving visible spots or discoloration on the surfaces. The obverse features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, her useful portrait. On the reverse, the coin features an iconic design by William Gardner depicting a Tudor portcullis. 
a heavily grilled gate used in fortifications surmounted by a crown. In circulated condition, especially with tarnish on the surfaces, the 1964 threepence coin typically holds modest market value. Circulated examples generally sell for 50 pence to 150 pound. On platforms like eBay, depending on severity of the tarnish and overall wear, coins with significant tarnish or surface damage are usually valid on lower end of this range. However, even in circulated condition, some collectors may be interested in the coin due to its predecimal significance. This is 1976 Canadian 5 cent coin which is part of Canadian long-running series of nickel coins featuring the iconic beaver design that has been in use since 1937. The coin was struck in nickel, a composition that was common for Canadian 5-cent coins at the time, making it highly durable and resistant to corrosion. The verse of the coin features portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse of the coin depicts a beaver sitting on a rock surrounded by inscription 5 cents Canada 1976. In terms of market value, the 1976 Canadian 5 cent coin is not considered rare as it was minted in large quantities for circulation. A circulated example typically sells for around 10, 10 cents to 50 cents on an online marketplace depending on the condition. Coins in uncirculated or near mint condition can fetch higher prices especially usually between $1 to $3. The 1992 UK 20 pence coin is part of decimal coinage series introduced in 1982. It was minted in copper nickel and alloy made of 84% copper and 16% nickel, which gives the coin a silver-like appearance and good durability against wear. On the reverse designed by William Gardner, the coin bears an image of Tudor Rose, a traditional heraldic symbol of England with denomination 20 placed below. Surrounding the rows are the words 20 pence at the top of the coin. In circulated condition, the 1992 20 pence is not considered rare due to its large mintage. Typically, circulated examples can sell for around 20 to 20 pence to 1 pound, depending on wear, surface condition, and general demand from collectors. As we wrap up today's journey through my collection of Elizabeth II coins, I hope you've enjoyed exploring the history, designs, and unique features that make these coins so fascinating. Take care.